Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Speedy Custom Keyboard for your iPad and iPhone. Now opening up the app icon will go ahead and bring us into a menu here where we can change our keyboard themes, view more apps by the developer, share this app with our friends, view how to enable custom keyboards, contact the developer, and view some basic settings. Now the settings will allow us to turn predictive text on and change the touchpad place for whenever we're going to write in our letters for our words. So right now I have everything set to the default position, such as prediction being off and my touch place being on the left. But if you'd like it to be on the right, go ahead and tap on right. And as well as keyboard themes, you can go ahead and set up your theme before you first open up Speedy Custom Keyboard. And you can actually see the different themes that are available for you once you purchase the app. I've gone ahead and left everything in the default positions. Now the way that you enable Speedy Custom Keyboard is to actually come out to your home screen we're going to quickly jump into the settings of our iPad here and I've gone into general and then we're going to come down until we see keyboard, come into keyboards and we're going to add in a new keyboard. So adding a keyboard will show us all the third party keyboards that we have available. I'm going to go ahead and tap on speedy and then I'm going to tap on it again and allow full access if that is not already enabled on your device. Now I'm going to come into any one of my favorite applications that allows me to use the keyboard. I'm just going to go and come into notes so I can show you what the keyboard actually looks like and how it's going to function. So I'm in a new note. I'm going to pull up my keyboard and by default speedy has come up. But if it does not for whatever reason and your keyboard looks like your regular iPad keyboard, all you have to do is tap and hold on this globe icon in the bottom left hand corner. Swipe up to speedy and then let go and now the speedy keyboard is going to come up. Now, as you might have guessed it, this is going to allow me to actually write in letters to form words. Now, what makes this keyboard unique amongst others is that all the letters here on the right hand side of the screen are all used with one actual pen stroke. So I don't actually have to let up off of the little notepad over here to create the letter. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and make the letter A. And notice I did not let up the whole time. I kind of started to make what looks like a star, but notice here on the actual template over here, the A that shows me how to create the A to make it look and get in the keyboard. So the same thing for B. So if I want to make a B, I'm using one keystroke. I'm not moving my pencil up or lifting my finger up off the screen. So for example, if I were to try and make a D, notice if I make that keystroke and then that keystroke, I end up with two different things, the I and a nine. But if I wanted to actually create the letter D, I need to do it all in one pen stroke and make my D. But notice that everything actually shows up lowercase instead of uppercase. So that is something to keep in mind whenever you're using this keyboard. If you wanted to put in a period, just tap once and it puts in a period. And if you wanted to put in a comma, tap twice on the screen, it puts in a comma there as well. And there's also different kind of glyphs that you can put in here, such as the at symbol, a question mark, even quotations in the parentheses as you would tap on the ABC button over here. You can see the different glyphs here that I can input. And as always, there's a space bar. So if I wanted to create a next word, tap on the space bar. And I can even put things to uppercase by tapping on the up arrow here. And now I have an A and an uppercase by tapping on the up arrow over here. And the backspace here will allow me to erase the words. If I want to create a new line, just tap on return. Now I'll go ahead and draw on another one and you'll see that it's capitalized as well. So that is how you make capital letters by tapping on the up arrow. And this back arrow will go ahead and give me a delete and remove the letter that I just added in. And as always, if you want to change your theme, just quickly head back into the Speedy app. Go ahead and tap on keyboard themes and then just tap on the theme that you would like to use to customize this for your own needs. So once again, this application is called Speedy Custom Keyboard. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store.